Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Okay, guys, Slinko day today. Not strings, not strings. We're going to white it out with Slinko today. Stay tuned. All right, Selenko, wipe out. Not wipe out. It looks like wipe out when I first kind of glance at it, but white out is what the this racket line is called, okay? So check out the cosmetics real quick. I've kind of showed you this already in my breaking news. White out. Fight out. <laughs> That's cool, huh? All right. So, unstrung specs are right there. You can see it yourself. We got the technology in here, which I probably won't go over very much because guess what, guys? Proof is in the pudding. And where's the pudding? On the court! When you hit with it. Okay? So, in this line for now... There's only two models. The regular, which is a 305. Okay. And then the 305 extended. So half inch longer. So these are the only two. I'm going to quickly spec this out. We're going to go hit and then see how they are. Okay. So let's, I got to get balance board. Um, hold tight. All right. So let's. Before we go into the numbers, let's take a quick look at a couple of things. The beam is a 21.7 millimeter constant beam. So throughout the racket, 21.7. It's a 16 by 19 string pattern on a 98 square inch head. So obviously this racket is meant to compete with a pure strike, 16 by 19. The pure strike is a slight taper beam so it's thicker in the center of the racket like in the three and nine area this is a constant beam so a little more control a la blade 16 19. so it's kind of in between the two now let's look at the the numbers of the regular 305 three two three very very standard on a strong strong weighted racket balance very, very normal also. You know, all these are very normal. Every, almost everything in this category, a la Blade, a la Strike 1619, are going to have numbers that are extremely close to that. Now, 305 extended, half inch longer. Those numbers really didn't, didn't really quite change much at all with the half inch longer. So, Either the quality control is really great, like they've considered with that half inch longer that they would rebalance it a little so that you don't um, miss the natural weight of a 27 inch racket or it just kind of happened. But I'll bet that they actually analyzed it and rebalanced the racket. So like I said, it's time to taste the pudding. On the court, got the whiteouts today. Whiteouts, Coach Goo here, Coach Chris here. Let's try them out. Just got off the court with the white out rackets. I'm not kidding. It actually says white out, as I said in the intro. Okay. Got the long one and the regular one in the 305. Coach Chris, what'd you think? Uh, 
playing with these, I felt like they were very similar to the uh, Pure Strike. Um, I think we were kind of comparing uh, the Selinka rackets to what they are for the Babolat rackets, very similar to the Pure Strike. I prefer the other ones, the Blackout ones, versus this one. I feel like uh, it's it's lack. It has a lot more control with it. I prefer the one with a little bit more power. Um, but overall, I guess both these rackets are really nice. Coach Goo, what the whiteouts? Uh, overall, fuzzy experience. This is a little more in my comfort zone. I do like my racks a little more flexy. Um, yeah, these remind me, like what Coach Chris said, it remind me of the Pure Strikes. Uh, with these, they do feel a bit stiffer than the Pure Drive. I mean, sorry, not Pure Drive, the Pure Strikes, because I'm used to, when I played with them back in the day, they did feel a little more flexy. Um, but this one kind of was a bit stiffer, but you could feel the flex. So if you're trying to find a little more stiffness um, compared to the Pure Strikes, I mean, this is your winner. I really prefer the, of course, the extended version of it. Um, I felt like the racket was more balanced out with this. Um, and I feel like you can customize this weight and yeah, I mean, overall, this is this is my winner for Slinko for sure. All right, so I did you like the longer or the regular? I did the two. I like the longer one. You like the longer one. I like the longer one, one. Okay. Okay. For, uh, versus the short one. I like the coaches like the long one more. So the three of us like the long one. So secret is that they weren't going to make the long one except for pro stock, meaning sponsored Selinko players were only able to get it. But I think since the three of us like the long one, hopefully they will make it for the mainstream retail audience like you guys. So um, again, these guys, uh, these guys both played like pure strikes, a lot of control, really good feel. The long one just won out by a little bit. I mean, they're well balanced. They play really well. Great for control. 16, 19 patterns. Um, more balanced on the long one, just like Coach Goo said. All right. Want to thank the coaches for hanging out with me today. Coach Chris, where can we find you? You can find me at CV Chan Tennis. That's it. And that's it. Um, Coach Goo, where can we find you? You can find me at AGU.tennis. So I'll also be posting content there as well. All right, guys, buy the whiteout extended, okay? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.